Experts working at Yellowstone have come forward and said that 81 earthquakes have recently hit the park. Most of these have been small but researchers say the size of them is irrelevant, and it could mean that something bigger is about to happen. Portland State University Geology Professor Dr. Scott Burns said the following, A large amount of small tremors have been detected around the National Park. Other researchers have said that magma and gases underneath the park are starting to rise. The newest information is that a 460 mile long piece of molten rock is rising directly underneath Yellowstone. Scientists had this to say, We are closely monitoring a 465 mile long piece of molten rock, and we've detected it's rising below the Yellowstone caldera. It's been shown that this volcano has erupted three times in history, with the first one being around 2.1 million years ago, the second 1.2 million years ago and the most recent being 640,000 years ago. We have discovered that Yellowstone's magma chamber is slowly rising each year. With all this activity, it's led scientists to speculate the largest supervolcano in the world might be about to erupt. Data has shown that in the past 12 months over 200 earthquakes have hit Yellowstone, and this suggests that a huge tectonic plate shift has taken place underneath the surface of the Earth. But there has been an increase in the gas outlets and seismic activity both under and above the ground surface. Others have put forward the theory this is a normal cycle for this area, and nothing is going to come of it. One scientist said the following, There is no indication that this swarm is related to magma moving through the shallow crust. However, not everyone is so sure. Recently, scientists said that over 50 seismic trackers around Yellowstone's volcano's biggest lake have picked up on tremors. This news was released due to a recent study that was carried out at Yellowstone. Seismologists working at Yellowstone are doing more tests to see how it's affected the national park. One thing that researchers can agree on though is that activity around Yellowstone is on the increase. Volcanologists have said that if Yellowstone did erupt, swarms of earthquakes would be triggered all around the world, each having their own effects on the nearby areas. At this point ash would still be entering our atmosphere. These temperatures would easily reach over 1000 degrees, and the ash would affect people worldwide. Roads would break down and millions of homes would be destroyed. As of right now, Yellowstone scientists are keeping a close eye on the data. So what do you guys make of this increased activity at Yellowstone? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.